Moments in a Newton courtroom where a man accused of murdering a teenager pled guilty today. Family members of Travis Baker spent two years searching for the 19-year-old's remains. And Eyewitness News reporter Dave Faraday was inside that courtroom as the killer explained why he did it. Travis Baker's father stood about where I'm standing inside the courtroom. He then turned and faced his son's killer. He talked about his family's search for answers in the case and his desire that John Mitchell be punished. The one thing that we have to believe and find comfort is that there will be no mercy for you. Standing feet away from his son's killer, Dwayne Baker, with his wife fighting back tears nearby, talked about the pain of losing his son Travis. The family put up thousands of flyers after the teenager disappeared in April 2007. It wasn't until June of 2009 deputies arrested John Mitchell after getting a tip from an informant and finding Baker's body. Assistant District Attorney Sean McGinnis read Mitchell's confession in court today. He claimed he snapped when the teenager made a racial slur toward his grandson. The gun was there. We just, I don't know what happened. I just started pulling the damn trigger. I just could not control myself. That's not my slug. I don't believe it. Not for a minute. Patricia Baker doesn't believe Mitchell's account of what happened. Prosecutors say he cut up the teenager's red Chevy Camaro and discarded the parts on his way to Florida in a U-Haul. Mitchell did apologize after pleading guilty to second-degree murder, robbery with a dangerous weapon, and concealing a body. It was an apology family members are not willing to accept. I do not accept his apology. He took something from me that can never be given back. And the judge sentenced Mitchell to 12 to 15 years of prison time, but he may actually get out earlier than that because he's been locked up for 18 months since his arrest. Reporting from Newton, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.